All right, so I'm going to talk about breakout rooms. So uh, for the sake of this demo, since I'm recording my screen, I've gone ahead and muted my ca my camera and also muted my microphone in Zoom so there's no conflict. Um, so go ahead and ignore that if this looks a little different. But there's a couple of things that I'm going to point out when using breakout rooms. So I already have the participants window here, which has myself and also myself on another device. And I went ahead and brought that up by clicking on participants here. Now, breakout rooms, which is this tab right here, gives you the option to either automatically or manually assign participants into the breakout room. So if you want to manually assign them, first you wanna go ahead and create the breakout room. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create breakout room. So we have our first breakout room here and I can actually rename it if I'd like to. So for example, meeting room one. And from here, I can go ahead and add as many rooms as I would like. And I can even assign participants into the breakout room. So if there were multiple participants, you could go ahead and assign them. So right here, I'm going to open all rooms. And now Mike has been asked, which let me go on to my other device, asked to join the breakout room, which now Mike is joining the breakout room. If you have multiple students, you could assign them to the breakout room. And within breakout rooms, um, the main thing is that when you're in the host, you could pop in and out of breakout rooms. So for example, here in breakout rooms, I could click on join, and now I'm in that breakout room. And um, I could then go ahead and leave that breakout room by clicking leave room here. So leave breakout room, and it's gonna go ahead and move me back to the uh, main room that I was in. So um, let me bring up breakout rooms again. So Mike is still in meeting room one, which you could go ahead and move Mike to other rooms. And um, Mike would need to leave the room himself or you could close all the rooms but I'm going to pretend that I'm Mike right now on my other device and leave the breakout room. And now Mike is back here in the participants window in the room that we're in. Now Mike has already um, been assigned to meeting room one so he can actually go back into that breakout room. So uh, Mike will see an option that he can join the same breakout room that he was assigned to. So if you have small group discussions and say you've assigned five students to meeting room one and they all leave the room, they can all go back into the same room themselves. Um, aside from that, that's pretty much it regarding breakout rooms. Unfortunately, you can't set up breakout rooms ahead of time. It's something that you have to do when you're in the meeting itself. So uh, we would probably recommend that you jump into your class maybe five minutes before and have an idea on how you wanna set up the breakout rooms and go ahead and do that. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close all the rooms and right here we have the rooms that we have created. Now let's see. Um, options, you can have uh, participants, which we saw in the beginning, uh, automatically assigned into the breakout rooms. Um, you can have it where um, breakout rooms will close automatically after a set amount of time. And um, a countdown, if you um, are closing a breakout room where the participants in the breakout rooms are going to be notified when the room is about to close. So yeah, aside from that, I would recommend um, creating a test meeting and playing with breakout rooms. You really don't need to have participants just to get the workflow down in deleting and creating breakout rooms. So yeah, go ahead and dive in and do that.